Oh. Well, it's 5.15 in the morning and we're only a couple of days away until the start of May. I don't know if you can see, but I've just hit the snow line. There was a wee sprinkling of snow uh, late last night and it's frozen up nicely. So uh, I'm, on a, I'm on a hill that's neither a Munro or a Corbett, although it was once a Corbett until about... I don't know, I think the 80s it was demoted, but it was a, it was in the original uh, Corbett list when Mr. Corbett put it together. And behind me, going up there is one of the highest road passes in the UK. It's uh, the road up to Glen Shee, and you can see Cairnwall and Glass Mall behind me. Anyway, um, I got up early. I slept on the side of this hill uh, last night, but not in the method <laughs> that I usually sleep on a hill. Um, we've treated ourselves to a wee lodge down at the spittle of Glen Chee. Uh, so uh, yeah, I woke up about four o'clock, looked outside and it was clear, the skies were clear and I thought, you know what, I'm going to get cracked on and see if I can get to the top of this hill for sunrise. Because it could be good, but as I've come up and round, the cloud has filled in. So um, Anyway, so I'm going to crack on. Um, that over there, I don't know if you can see the line going up the hill, that's the Catarin Trail. I'll maybe come back down that way. And uh, the next hill over is Ben Herb. But basically, the uh, the reason this hill was demoted from a Corbett is that the, the drop, which has to be 500 feet, uh, was recorded to be not 500 feet, I think it's was it 6 metres short. The lowest point is the top of the Catherine Trail, and then uh, for the next sort of 10 kilometres round to, to Glass Chilican, um, it doesn't drop far enough for it to become a Corbett. Um, so anyway, Ben Herb over there, Glass Chilican. Uh, I can't remember the name of that Corbett above the spittle. But yeah, absolutely fabulous. Uh, let's... Let's crack on to the top. So as I moved uh, higher up the hill, the snow started to thicken and the views also started to open up behind me down Glen Sheen over the Perthshire Hills. It was absolutely glorious. I'm not quite on the summit of Meal Yuen yet, that's it just over there. But I stopped here because it was such a great uh, viewpoint. This is a sort of uh, subsidiary top. The first one you come to if you're coming up from the Spittal, which is where I've come from. Um, and the views are fantastic. And I, I can actually see right down uh, through Rannoch to the Buchel in Glencoe. It's just hitting the light. It looks like it's a beautiful morning over there. And uh, scanning further around, you've got the Lords and the uh, Shahalian where I was quite recently. Um, further round again, Benaglow looks like it's within touching distance. And then you've come come around to sort of Glen Shee Hills, Glass Chulican and Cairnwell and the rolling hills of Persia. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then further around, just on the uh, just on the wee horizon above the snows Mount Blair. So uh, yeah, I'm going to crack on to the summit. Uh, there's a wee bit of a breeze here, but it's absolutely beautiful. Um, hopefully the sun will come through. There's wee dapples of light on the mountain and what have you. So uh, I'm going to take my time and then head back down to the Spittal and do some investigation around there. It's, uh, it's one of the oldest settlements, uh, so I believe, what I read last night, um, dating back to Neolithic times. And there's a standing stone somewhere around about there, so I'm going to investigate that later. But at the moment, I'm just going to enjoy this and see if this cloud breaks a little to the east to give us some more light. Let's go to the summit. From the uh, subsidiary top to the real summit, it wasn't too far, so I took my time and the views were just absolutely fantastic. The fresh coating of snow really gave it an extra, an extra edge. Anyway, I soon found myself approaching the small cairn on the top where I stopped to take it all in. That's me on the summit. Just see the small here and there, I don't think this will get much uh, footfall, but it's absolutely, it's lovely. Uh, there's actually more cloud to the east today, and uh, 
bit, bit of low lying fog uh, up the A9, it looks like there's a bit of a, a fog bank all the way up. But when you swing round here, you can see Beneglow. I don't know if you'll make it out too well in the camera, but Beneglow's basking in the sunshine and further west and north, uh, the weather certainly looks a bit better. But this is just, I'm not going to complain, there's just a wee breeze and it's lovely. Perthshire Hills, you know, there's Mount Blair over there and Dreech and Mare over there and round to the Glen Shee Hills. Absolutely fabulous, absolutely fabulous. So I don't think it's past seven o'clock yet. I'm not actually checking the time, but uh, yeah, that's the the beauty of uh, the British summertime. Well, springtime. We're probably about five weeks away, six weeks away from the uh, longest day. Yeah, lots of light. Absolutely brilliant. I'm just going to sit up here and enjoy it. Warm my fingers up. There's probably about three or four centimetres of fresh snow up here from last night so it's making things quite scenic so I want to take some pictures and uh, some bee footage and then wander on back down to the lodge don't have to drive home I could have a beer a bit early for a beer but uh, I've got a wee treat waiting for me when I get back to the lodge After spending some time at the summit and taking it all in, it was soon time to head back down and I headed back down the same way I came up, looking forward to my retreat at the lodge. 